Well, I've been watching the weather now for about two weeks, like every morning, <laughs> checking all my little apps and web pages and comparing winds and waves and rain and whatnot. And um, there's been quite a lot of weather going on. It's been around mostly between 2025 20, and waves between 2.5 and 4. So, not the best conditions to go out solo sailing, really. Um, but it looks like um, I've been watching a weather window of like two, three days that is mostly 50 knots of wind and waves only up to three meters. Well, the last thing before departure were some small projects. Um, I wanted to clean the house, so maybe I'd gain another half knot or something on the way up there. I set up uh, my Iridium phone to this uh, weather service so I could download um, weather on the way. And I also had to attach the, what's it called, the veer, the thing that holds the boom down. Um, I had to reattach it to the mast because it had broken off. And um, also the thing, <laughs> I don't know the vocabulary, but <laughs> the thing where the little runners of the mainsail go into the mast, there's like a little thing that closes and opens to, to feed in the runners and to block them from coming out. So that was broken, so I had to find a way to fix that. Last but not least, I wanted to move my life raft from the middle of the boat to the aft and I wanted to put it so I can easily, you know, just release it whenever I have to because I doubt that in case of emergency I'd be able to lift this really heavy life raft from the center of the boat and throw it overboard. So yeah, I moved it up on, on the the thing that carries the solar panel in the back and I think it's much better in that in that space. Tomorrow I don't want to be doing anything really, so today I'm going to do the last preparations. I'm going to put my lifelines back on. I'm going to make sure everything is lashed down properly. I'm going to cook some food, some lentil soup, and um, some friends are going to give me some ice, so I'll have some cold drinks for the journey. I need to check on my VHF because yesterday I found out that I actually can't, um, people can't hear me when I talk into it, so I need to see what's going on. Um, gotta get a couple of uh, 
extra lines. I always like to have a couple of extra lines um, lying around, like one for preventer and one for, you know, in case something breaks, like if something gets caught, like a sheet or something. It's gonna be the longest passage I've ever done so far. It's gonna be 250 miles leaving from um, a little island here close to Green Island in, in the San Blas Island and going up um, northwest to the island of San Andres, which is a part of Colombia but is east of uh, the coast of Nicaragua. So yeah, 250 miles, so that's gonna be for Carl and me two days, three nights. It's gonna be hard to leave this paradise, but I really need to get back into the saddle and I really need to get out there and, you know, have a good a good sail up to, to San Andres and get, regain some confidence and I hope it's gonna be some fun. For more about that next week.